What's up guys, we Caddy here and today we guys a brand new OU Live where what we're going to be doing is having a go with a Volcanian Rain Team. So if you're excited for this, don't forget to leave a like down below, I would really really appreciate it. So basically, I've been trying to get out of doing a bit of work and just had a go at making a Rain Team with this. And uh, so far it seems to be going pretty well. What I want to do is ladder up in my practice account before we do a live stream later on. Later on probably in the week. Oh. What's up guys, Mikaddy here, and today we guys, a brand new OU Live, but what we're going to be doing is having a go with Volcanian, but in a rain team format. Now, a lot of people have been talking about this, whether it's going to be great or not, so I really wanted to give this a go and really work on a really good team. So, this is the sort of bare bones start of the team that I wanted to work on. So far, it's been working pretty well. I've had sort of, I would say, 10 games with it. Won pretty much every single one and made some changes in between just to see how they will work. And so far it seems to be working really, really nicely, which is really, really cool. I'm just testing this on my testing account to start with. We're going to still be doing some laddering and stuff. But before we go on to our actual account higher up, really, you know, relatively high up on the ladder in comparison to this one. I just want to make sure that the team works and it's always the best way to test it. We will definitely be doing a live stream this, with this later on in the week. So hope you guys are excited for that. I just wanted to use this opportunity to record because I felt, you know, why not? I'm testing the team. I might as well record it and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So without further ado, we'll quickly run through the team. So we've got the Assault Vest Volcanion. Same set as last time. I still think this is the optimal set for Volcanion. Enough speed to outspeed Rotom Wash. Enough speed to outspeed, um, what's we call it, uh, Azumarill. And a really nice set of coverage moves that I think personally fit the team and also it very, very well. Then we have got a Spadef uh, Frogger, the Politoed, which is a set to Encore, Setup Sweepers. We've got Scald there, which is very nice in the rain. Toxic and uh, obviously Rest. Going back to Steampunk as well, I know it sounds weird that we've got the Fire Blast there, but that's still Oko's Mega Sizzle in the rain. And uh, it does a really good amount of Ferrothorn, so I'm actually not that fussed. Like, even in the rain, it's still doing insane amounts of damage. Then we've got the Spec Savers Tornadus. So far, this is Life Orb. This is designed to take on uh, most notably Mega Venusaurs. Because Mega Venusaurs just were a huge problem with the start of this team. I made two changes. First of all, I made this one Life Orb. It was originally a Salt Vest. And on top of that, we had Wal have Walmart as well. So uh, we basically got a really nice set. This set helps us a lot with chances because we can knock off on the switch. Superpower then kills from there. So that's really, really nice. You can see we've got a lot of. Um, Later on, we've got a lot of fighting coverage, but uh, that's mainly because Chanseys and Ferrothorns. Screw them for rain <laughs> for facing against us uh, for these rain teams. So, we have got... I don't know what I said in that last sentence, but anyway. We have got Reaper the Kabutops with the Life Orb Swift Swim. This guy is absolutely insane. It's attack stat, and like the amount of power it gets is just through the roof. It's absolutely crazy. We've got the Low Kick there. I prefer Low Kick over Swords Dance, just because I never find I get the opportunity to set the SD up. And the low kick's really nice for Ferrothorns. Uh, really catches them off guard as well, which is really, really cool. Then we've got Shrek, which is a another uh, Rain Sweeper with the Swampertites. This is a Mega Swampert with Waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Punch, and then finally the Super Power as well. Same sort of business. Uh, does a huge amount of Chansey as well. It's basically those two are the main stops of this team, so I've just got lots and lots of ways to try and deal with them. And then finally, this guy is a new addition. I'm very interested to see how he's going to perform. Originally, um, I'm trying to remember what I had here. Um, oh, I had a Swords Dancing uh, Life Orb Sizzle, but it kind of, it would always get like one kill, but it wouldn't really do much, whereas this guy is going to be a fantastic wall breaker. We have got the Dragon Claw there, which is going to be doing huge amounts, max attack invested with a bit of special attack, and then that speed investment allows us to outspeed base 80, Adam on base 80s if I remember rightly. So we have got the Dragon Claw, Ice Beam, and Fusion Bolt. Ice Beam is great, that allows us to actually get... Huge amounts of damage on Mega Venusaur, which is also really, really cool because it ignores uh, the Thick Fat ability on that. Dragon Claw and Fusion Bolt just hit incredibly hard. Like, we can Turk Hero Skarmory Fusion Bolt. We've got the Roost there so we can recover up and take less Life Orb damage. So basically, this guy is designed just to wall break as much as possible and then let the Sweepers go through from there. So, there's enough of me talking about the team, basically. Let's, just, let's go into a few battles and see how it performs. Uh, I may end up changing teams and... Funnily enough, we run into a rain team to start with, so that's quite funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I think overall, Kurum is actually a very, very solid lead here. Because we can put a huge amount of damage onto something. Really, really dent them. So I think we're going to go for that. It leads off with Kingdra. That's unfortunate for us. Uh, how much speed does Kingdra have, actually? 295. We have got 285. It's probably modest, actually. I'd say I'd, I'd like to assume that's modest. I'm going to click Dragon Claw here. Does switch out into Cloyster. That's still going to take a good amount of damage. That is insane damage. This guy is... Oh, his damage is out of control. 
absolutely crazy. I have literally no reason not to click Dragon Claw, so I'm going to click Dragon Claw again. Take out the Cloyster, that's a big, big threat out of the way, which is really nice for us. Out comes Politoed. Okay, uh, I don't know how much I agree with that. Um, what we could do, uh, let's go Kieran B. I've got max attack. It's like, what I do want to do is to pivot into um, the Swampert there. So, uh, what's I'm going to call it? Politoed. Oh, you support. Uh, Fusion Bolt does kill. Dragon Claw doesn't, but Scald can't really do much to me. So the question is, do I go for Dragon Claw predicting the switch? I think I'm going... Oh, he does stay in. That was very, very cheeky of him. And he's going to go for Toxic. That's fine by me. I basically get another kill off here, which is really, really nice for us. I think definitely uh, Dragon Claw is the way to go here. I am literally ripping holes in this guy, which is absolutely great. <laughs> Kurum is such a beast. It's a beast I always forget about and don't appreciate enough, I think is probably the best way to put it. Because its wall-breaking capabilities are an absolutely insane. Like, if it's a physical Pokemon that can handle Skarmory, like, that's just crazy. Out comes Swampert. I'm just going to get some damage off on this guy. Literally, that's my best play. I'm going to go for Dragon Claw here. He is going to Mega Up, but he doesn't get the Swift Swim first turn. We're going to get 67% off. That's really, really nice. Out comes... Here comes the Power Up Punch. Okay. This is a little bit spooky, I must admit. Um, how much does Kabutops do to a Mega Swampert in the rain? Um, Kabutops. I mean, it's going to do a lot. I'm pretty sure. Uh, two for two. Uh, we are Adamant. And also, we're Life Orb. And it's in the rain. 35. Okay, that's enough. That's great for us. So, we can go into Reaper here. We can fire off the Aqua Jet. And that should kill. He's going to be very tempted to stay in, I imagine. Uh, two, I actually, yeah, I still don't add speed, unfortunately. I could have, no, there's nothing else I could have gone into. I possibly could have taken a hit with my own Swampert, but I'd like to preserve damage on that because I can take a hit from Kingdra and get a good amount of damage off from there. Uh, Rotom Wash might be a little bit of an issue, uh, having a look right now. So that might be something I need to try and improve more later on. Okay, so he is going to outspeed me. Um, so the question is, do I want to switch out here into something else, or do I just want to take a... I could go into Volcano in here. I've got the AV. I can't do a huge amount, but I can at least stall him out. I'm going to go into Volcano in here, because I can take any Surfs and stuff. Oh, goes for Focus Energy, so he's not the... Oh, I could have done so much damage to you. That was very, very cheeky. Um, Steampunk is probably going to go down here. Which isn't great, but there's not a huge amount I can see that we could do. I'm just going to go for this, try and get the burn. He does end up... We actually take that, which is great. The steamer option, i just mainly doing it for the burn and also under the rain. We do get the crit, which is really, really nice. Unfortunately, we are going to go down now. But that's just the right number of turns for us to now go into our Tornadus. And I'm pretty confident a, uh, we should be able to kill from there with a Hurricane. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Does switch out into Rotom. This is going to still take a really good chunk. 31%, that's respectable. Get the Confusion as well, which is really, really nice. What we can do now is we can U-turn and... Um, let's see, we need to be careful because we, we're still not out of the woods just yet. I'm going to U-turn here. 24%, okay, that's really good damage. So that's possibly a Spadef um, Rotom Wash. Um, let's see... Rotom Wash, uh, Blank Set, versus Tornadus T, why don't they have a uh, proper set, I think I've got 92 with a U-turn, 21 to 25, so that's actually offensive, okay, um, so we could go into Swampert here, but I don't, I'm, re I'm really fearing the burn right now, I think we're going to go into Politoed, because I know I can take one because I'm Spadef, he does go for Volt Switch. I just couldn't afford to go into Swampert and get burnt. That was the problem. Because Swampert literally cleans up once we get some a little bit more damage off on that Rotom. How much do we do with Swampert with Superpower? Uh, I apologise for the amount of calcs, but I need to... Oh my goodness, that's crazy damage. Okay, so we're in a really strong position here. I think we should be able to overpower him with the combination of mons that we've got left. If we lose Frogger right here, I'm not too sad. I just need a bit of... Oh, some way to get out from Frogger into um, Swampert. I don't need the rain anymore, so Frogger's kind of lost its value. 
Um, actually, I guess Kabutops does lose the, lose the speed, and it is how it's helpful, but it's not really, really helpful. I'm going to start the timer here because he is taking his time. Let's see. Volt Switch did 41. Might we might be able to get a bit a better idea while we're waiting. Um, Politoed. I'm only doing this just because I'm wondering. Right now, Volt Switch. 31 to 38. So he's max special attack by the looks of things. 29 to 39 to 47. Yeah, he's max special attack leftovers. Okay, so, so Swampert is going to be doing a huge amount to this guy. Let's see, he's still, wait, he's still taking his time. <laughs> oh, I don't know what he's got to really uh, handle the rest of my team. I think it is GG, to be honest. Like, as long as I don't make some really, really dumb mistake, it should be GG. So I'm just going to pop a Toxic here. He is going to go for the Focus Energy. I'm going to pop the Toxic, which is really, really nice for me. So the question is, what do we want to do here? I could have encored him in Cheeky. Oh, maybe I should have done that. Um, let's see. I've still got loads of turns of rain left. I'm just going to let my guy go down. Draco's going to come through. It's going to kill. That's fine by me. I just realized I was talking to the wrong bit of the mic, but that should be a bit better. So I can now go into... Oh, no. Swampert's not megaed up yet. Can't go into Swampert just yet. That's something that can always always catches me out. It's the fact that you don't get the... the uh, Swift stream straight away, but we can go into spec savers and basically uh, kill everything with Hurricane. Ah, uh, why do you outspeed? He's focus energy, but in the rain as a sweeper. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's actually pretty funny. Uh, the question is, he's actually might end up sweeping me. I did not expect him. I thought he was Critra. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, Kabutops. He got me. He got me really good, I must admit. That's quite funny. Okay, so Adamant. Um, I'm not even mad. Like, that's that's pretty cool. Aquajet does 10 to 13. Okay, so who can I finish to win the game? Oh my goodness. I think I'm actually going to lose this. Actually, no. Because what I can do, I can go into Reaper, I can Aqua Jet here, get him out of into Toxic range that he'll die to the Toxic. Oh, if I'd have just Encored, it'd be so much easier. <laughs> I have literally never seen that set before. It does go into Volcano, that's fine by me, I can just go for the Stone Edge now. Please hit Reaper. You've got one job, and that is to connect with the Volcano and kill. Fantastic, okay. Out comes Rotom, we outspeed this. Even if it, it's not Scarf because it should leftovers, I could just Stone Edge hit. And I missed my Stone Edge. Okay. And he's going to go for Volt Switch. Okay. I should be able to take one hit with Kingdra. Even under the rain. I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm pretty sure. Unless it, oh, it's going to be a crit. It's not going to be a crit though, hopefully. So I think my best play here is just to go for the Earthquake. It just comes down to whether the bulk, my bulk can pull it off. I do take it. Okay. And I think that's game. Oh my goodness, that King just set. <laughs> Props to him for using that. Um, we may still actually... He may still outspeed us. That's the only thing. Nope, and Superpower is not going to kill. But that was almost definitely going to kill. And he's going to go for Willow. Okay, but I outspeed next turn. And I should still be able to kill this guy. <sighs> my heart. <laughs> <laughs> GG man, that was a fantastic game. Okay, let's go for another one. Hopefully one that's a little bit less stressful. A um, mono... No, it's not mono... Why am I saying mono steel? Okay. Um, this does look like a team that has like z zero switch into water type moves. So I think Politoed's my lead here. Could get, He could lead off with the Mamo, but then we get the burn chance and all that sort of fun stuff. So I'm very happy with that. Out comes Ice Age the Mamo. This is definitely lead Mamo. Um, I've got to watch out for Endeavor and stuff like that. I don't really want to Encore first turn. So I'm going to Scald. I do outspeed, which is great. And we get the Burn, which is really, really nice. That is super super duper fantastic for us. I just go for Scald here and I kill. That's really, really great. Okay. If he goes into Dewblade, I just Encore turn one. Um, I'm not too sure what he's got. Like, basically, just Polito by itself puts in so much work. Out comes Clean Clang. I'm encoring you. I am not going to mess about with a Clean Clang. Here comes the shift gear. 
That's absolutely great for us. What we can do now is we can switch straight into Swampert, use this opportunity to get our Mega up. We can go for the EQ. He is going to be outspeeding, but he's still got two turns of Encore left, which is really nice for us. So let's just Mega Evolve here and go for the Earthquake. Absolutely simple. He does go for the uh, Shift Gear again, and we're going to take him out. That's really, really nice. Okay. This is a very strange team. Out comes the Weezing. So what do we want to do with Weezing? We could go into Volcanion here. Yep, I'm going Volcanion. I know I'm going to take Stealth Rock damage, but I can take Will-O-Wisps. Absolutely fine. It's a really great thing to have. This is what I found that's really nice on with Volcanion. You can switch into all the Water-type moves that are water bo uh, Rain Boosted, and also you can switch into Willows as well, which is really, really fantastic. I literally just click Steam Eruption, and I just <laughs> destroy everything in my path. Oh my goodness, Steampunk. Even with just the Assault Vest, you're still absolutely insane under the rain. <laughs> Out comes Jurassic the Aerodactyl. Um, do I want to save this? It is actually still really quite nice, but it's not the nicest of things. Like, to be honest, like, Swampert just cleans up. I'm going to click Steam Eruption here. I'm probably going to go down. Yeah, definitely with a crit. That's absolutely fine. The rain now stops, so you're 294 speed. I just go into Politoed here. I'm pretty confident I can take a hit. Swampert cleans out a late, late game. I just click Schooled here. I can take any hit. I can definitely... Ooh, that's actually pretty close. Is that Choice Banded or something crazy? That might even be Choice Banded, to be honest. Uh, I guess I'm not Defense Investor, but even so, that's still crazy. So I can go for Schooled here. I've got my Mega up with my Swampert, so that's really nice. Goes to the Agility. Ooh, so it's not over just yet. That's very, very interesting. I'm just going to go for the Schooled again. Goes to the Meteor Mash. Please don't get that attack boost. Fantastic. Um, right. So the question is, what do we want to do here? We kind of have to go into Swampert. If he's got the Grass Knot, that's going to be iffy. But I don't think with, with Agility there, I don't think he's got enough move slots to do that. No, he just has Meteor Mash. I can take that. That's really nice. And now finally, Mr. Dooblade. I'm just going to go for the EQ. Um, what's we got on here? So we we can still, we can still Fusion Bolt you, so that's fine. Okay. EQ, 70%. That's really nice. Does go for the Sacred Sword. I can take that absolutely fine. And another EQ is going to come through from there. So that's great. So I know these teams have been a little bit weird. But it's it's showing that we've, we, we're we able to switch the team out. Um, there doesn't seem to be any major faults right now. Which is really nice to see. There were some glaring ones when I started. Most notably, as I said, the weakness to Chansey. Huge, huge weakness to Mega Venus. So I let my... First first game I tried this team, I let my... Um, what's I call it? Uh, Taunt of the T go down way too early. And I just... Basically had to forfeit Ooh. because of the fact I just couldn't touch Mega Venusaur. So that is the end of the game. And uh, let's go for one more. Uh, go for one more battle on the ladder. And it's stalled! Woo! Okay, this looks fun. Um, I'm going to just lead off a Frogger here. I think it's my best bet. Oh my goodness, why is it going to be stalled? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, we have got Curum. And Kyurem's going to be really nice. So, I'm just going to go and fire for school here. If he wants to switch, I need to find out what sort of school uh, player he is. He seems an interesting player, I must admit. Um, I'm just going to go... See, I want to switch. I really want to switch. No, I'm going to click school this turn. And he's going to let it go down. That's very weird, I must admit. But looking at his team, uh, Kieran Black has a huge like laugh at this guy. So that's really, really nice. I could probably go into Volcanion here, actually. He's probably going to be setting up T-Spikes, most likely. Um, yeah, I think that's my best bet. I can go for Earth Powers. Yeah, I think that's my best bet. I want to keep Frog around because keeping the rain pressure on is really, really nice. These T-Spikes are going to be a real pain, but uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. Let's see what he decides to do. Is he going to... He's going to go for Protect here. Okay, so we got to be really careful with this guy. Right, I really want to switch into Kyurem, but I don't want to... Oh, no, he's not going to go for Scald because he can't go for Scald. So do I go into Kyurem here? Just take one layer of Toxic, and then I can just... Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Goes into Quagsire. Now, Quagsire, you're a funny duck. Uh, you're not a duck, but you guys know what I mean. Okay, Quagsire. 
Anna Werewolf versus Kieran. I'm pretty sure I 2 at Kyo. I mean, I'm 252, the equivalent of Adamant. Dragon Claw. No, okay. Oh, because I'm not lifeful. There you go. Okay, so I can do a good amount. Uh, how much does 20 Ice Beam do? Does less. Okay, so I might give this a go, see if I can break him down. It does go for Protect. That's fine. I can Protect on his Roost. Uh, I can Roost on his Protect, so that's not the worst thing in the world. I'm going to Dragon Claw this turn. He can do a bit of damage, but I can Roost up. This is why I only wanted one layer of... Okay, that does... Okay, maybe min max. I'm not sure. Um, right. So I'm going to roost this turn. He's going to protect. Because I'm going to roost. So that's fine by me. Uh, let's see. How much does this drag... How much is this going to do? 53. So it's not enough, really. And he is going to just try and stall me. Because he's such a great player. Okay. Um, what's my best play? My best play is to roost this turn, as he's going to EQ. That's fine by me. Um, right. I'm going to go into Politoed to set up the rain. And pivot back out into Tornadus. Okay. Now what I can do is I can either Hurricane here, or I could knock off. I'm going to knock off this turn, predicting the switch into Chansey. Even so, just getting left rid of the leftovers on this guy is going to be really, really nice. Um, Quagsire, you're such a pain. I'm really surprised how little that did with the uh, Curum. Out comes Tentacruel. That's a shame. 42%. Oh my goodness. Okay. So how much do I do? I apologise for the calcs on this one, but I need to I need to find this out because um, what am I called? Uh, I'm a tornadus. We are gonna break some stool right here. Um, we are life orb. Uh, knock off. Okay, so he's spa death most likely. Um, how much does a hurricane do? First, 32, okay. So not enough. But I could just U-turn here and um, go into something else. I think that's my best play. The question is, what do I want to go into? Or I could superpower. It's 95. Um, how much is a superpower going to do? I apologise for this. Superpower is zero. Okay. Oh no, because it is it's resisted, isn't it? I'm being stupid. I'm going to U-turn here. I think that's my play. And then um, the options are we could go into... We could go into Volcano in here. We do take a... We just want to start with single layers of poison. We don't want double layers. Because double layers are bad. Okay, here comes the T-Spikes. What I can do now is I can double back into... I'm going to double back into Curum. It's all about the doubles trying to beat these uh, stall players. Cause most likely he's going to go into the Chansey. He didn't switch out. I hope he, that man... No, he does. He goes for rest. Okay. Uh, at the very least, I can roost on this guy. Which is nice. I was not expecting the rest at all. I could have earth powered and done a huge amount of damage. But that's, a, that's no problem. We may be here for a while. <laughs> but I'm determined to break the stall. Because if a rain team can break the stall... That's going to be really nice for us. So we do get the roost off. Okay. So the question is, do we want to go into spec savers this turn? I kind of... Yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. Goes out into Skarmory. Okay. So what I can do now is I can U-turn. Um, what's my best play? I think I U-turn into Volcanion and fire off a Steam Eruption. Or I could go into Curum and just go for Fusion Bolt. Trouble is, that just baits in the uh, stupid Quagsire. I'm going to go into Volcanion this turn. 
He does go for the Stealth Rocks. Okay. See, I'm not sure why he's not going into Chansey. Okay. Do I want to pull a double here? No, I'm going to click Steam Eruption this turn. Goes into Quagsar. Come on, get a burn. You oh, my goodness. Okay. I don't know why he keeps switching this in. But what I can do now is... I can now... Oh, I hope you switched. I hope you didn't just recover on me. He did. Oh, he protected. Okay, that's fine. I can now Dragon Claw, which is really, really good. Right. We got the Quagsar where we want it. We can kill this Quagsar if we want to. Anything else, we can get a huge amount of damage off. Uh, we can do a huge amount of scar, and we could probably even just recover up on it. Right, it's, it's all going to come down to how we play this Kyurem. We can basically 2 hero everything from here. Outcome Skarm. Right. This turn, I'm going to Roost. And see what he decides to do. Hope he doesn't have Iron. He goes for Spikes. Okay, we need to get rid of this guy. I'm going to go for Fusion Bolt this turn. This doesn't kill, but it's enough where a Dragon Claw probably will. And taking out the Skarm will be nice. Yep, I can go for Dragon Claw here. I hope he goes out into Quagsar, predicting me to go for another one. If he does, we're re in a really strong position then. Because we've got the Skarm re weakened, we've got the Quagsar weakened. Nope, he does decide to stay in. Okay. So we got one more hit to get some really good wall breaking going. We can roost up on Chansey, so out, goes, out comes the Gliscor. Uh, do I roost this turn predicting the Protect? I think it's worth it. Ah, uh, he doesn't. Okay. Goes for Sand Tomb. Well, I'm just going to bop you. If you're going to be this rude, I'm just going to go for Ice Beam. And that is a dead Gliscor. This is why we need Kyurem. Kyurem is such a wall-breaking beast. It's absolutely insane. Out comes Quagsar. Um, I'm going... Oh, I... I got a ro I've got a Roost. As he protects this turn, I'm going to get my Roost off. And he's going to be 46... Which, I think I still kill. Come on, don't you let... Yeah, okay, that's great. We're breaking apart, so we might even 6-0 a stool team. That we... We do... Oh my goodness, that is so great. <laughs> what a finish. So, I'm really pleased with how that finished. Oh my goodness. You guys don't So Every time I see stool while I record, I'm like, oh my god. Like, it's just painful. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. I would really appreciate it, especially after that last game. And hopefully see you guys at a live stream with this team later on in the week. McCaddy out.